y'all. So is it just me or is May flying by? Because it's already like halfway over. Who knows? Uh, today I thought I'd do a little Q&A of all the questions that you guys have asked me. So here we go. How would you describe yourself as a child? Uh, uh, I was really happy. I was just kind of like oblivious and in my own world a lot of the time. And I was really only upset or like moody when like something happened that made me sad. Um, my mom said I never had terrible twos. She was like <laughs> anticipating it and she was like, you just, you were fine the entire time. Is there something you can't let go of? My love for makeup. No matter how much I want to just be natural all the time. I just, I love doing makeup. <laughs> Post the fifth pic in your gallery. There you go. Right there. Your definition of love. Um, well, I'm a Christian, so God is love. Um, I've learned love from my parents. When they became Christians, then they started to base what they thought of love on what Jesus said love is, and then raised us to be that way, the kind of compassion and caring and kindness that they have for me, for me because of how they changed their lives. So I'm thankful for that. Um, I also see define love as um, being around someone who you can be yourself with, uh, like my sister. Um, that was that's probably the biggest example of love that I have. Are you a reliable person? I can be, um, but you know, being autistic and getting overwhelmed with some things, I have to be careful what I say you can rely on me for this for because uh, I can like flake out uh, just because it's like too much for me to take on and whatever I say that I will do something like uh, for me like I'm going to do this uh, not just think that think things that someone has asked me to do but just me saying I'm going to do this then I am reliable yeah describe your last relationship in three words better as friends <laughs> uh, I had a relationship at college for six months with um, my boyfriend Daniel. We are best friends now. We never fought once, um, but we broke up because long distance and because I knew that there was something going on with me and I couldn't like connect with him in the way that I wanted to and realized that was autism. And I was actually trying to make myself connect with him the way neurotypicals connect, which is not a way for that I can connect but I was connected with him as much as I could be um, for the way that I connect with people, I think. Um, but we've, we've just been better as friends. Which memory would you like to forget? I don't think that I would like to forget any memories I have because there's already so many things that have happened to me in my life that like everybody has stuff that they can't remember about their life. I've always been in the habit of saying, oh, I'm never gonna forget this. And I know that there's stuff of, that I've said that about that I have forgotten, and I don't want to lose any more memories that I, uh, than I already have. Um, do you open up to other people easily? I open up to other people too easily, and then I get in trouble for it. Um, because I, I'm 100% honest with people and straight up, and so like I can't keep stuff in very well. Um, there is certain circumstances when I've opened up too soon to people and they didn't know me well enough and so they didn't know how to put into context the information I was giving them so it kind of ended weird you know all right that's it for those uh, now to go on to the other section of questions some of these I haven't even looked at before so this is not scripted what are some of your personal rules that you never break okay um I never date someone unless they're also a Christian um, I'm, I have a rule right now where I'm actually like not dating anyone, <laughs> but um, those I never break. I don't know, just like certain boundaries that I have that I know like if someone, if like I have a friend and they lie to me, I'm gonna like tell them like that's a boundary for me, like don't lie to me. And if I figure out they do it again, then I'm like, that's it, we can't be friends anymore. Your first memory. I remember like a creek and the water was really cold, like in the forest. And like, I've tried to tell my parents this and try to figure it out, but I don't have enough information other than like, it was really cold. 
and I don't know what age I was or anything, but like my parents don't know what it is. So I have no idea if that's my first memory or if it's just a memory that was really early, but like that's what I've always considered my first memory. Has anyone ever broken your heart? That's a loaded question. I need more in information to answer that. Would you consider yourself a positive person? Yes, I'm a very positive person. My mom is a major optimist and I get it from her. I just tend not to like have that awareness of like danger or something could be off about this. And so I'm uh, too optimistic. Is there something in your life that you're really proud about? Making this desk. I am so proud of the desk that I built. I love it so much. My dad helped me, um, but it was really fun for us and like, when I move out, I'm going to use it as a kitchen table because it's super big. But yeah, that's probably what I'm most proud about recently. <laughs> Is there anything really important to you in a relationship? Uh, I'm not looking for a relationship right now, so I'm going to say this as friends. It's really important for me as friends that they understand autism or at least are open to learning about it for what I have to say and not just being like, oh, well, it's just a part of you like any other part of you, you know? It's like, no, I want to talk about it. <laughs> um, they have to understand that. Um, they need to be encouraging and uplifting. Um, like, they need to be honest. Yeah, that was it. So, um, I'm going to do another YouTube channel, I mean, another YouTube video next Monday, so stay tuned. Me and my sister are also going to be working on the podcast this week, so it'll be really fun. So, I can't wait for that. I'm going to post more information as soon as I know about it. But, um, thank you guys for watching. I love you. I'll see you later. Bye.